Hi, I'm Navid Ansari and this video we're gonna talk about everything about a text widget in Unreal Engine 5. So without any further ado, let's begin. If you followed my videos, my playlist of videos about GUI design in Unreal Engine 5, you know that I did create a widget class, widget blueprint class, and in my character I created and added to viewport and that's all we have done till now, okay? So now I'm gonna talk about text widget, everything about it, every detail. So let's just bring one of them in here and the first thing is this anchor point, okay? So if you set it to the top left corner and you give it a value like 80 and 80 in here, no matter what the size of your game, it will stay at the 50 and 50 in its top left corner. So if you change the size of our game, you can see it stay there. Again, if it changes the size of it like this, it stay there, okay? So that was about anchor point. Next, the size X and size Y. This size X and size Y is all about this canvas panel slot. So it's all about this green rectangular around our text that called a slot, okay? In this case, because this text in a canvas panel, it called canvas panel slot, okay? So if we, if we change the size of that, the size of the text won't change, but the a slot will be changed. The next property is this alignment. At default, it's at zero and zero. It means that whatever value that you put in here will be placed relative to this point, this anchor point, and this top left corner of the or text, this dot that is in here, this. Okay, so if we put the position X and position Y at the at zero, you, you can see that no, the zero and zero is in here. If we want to position this text uh, relative to its anchor point to the top middle of this uh, slot in here, you can change the alignment in here. For example, the X, if, it's, if it was 0.5, it will be aligned with the top middle. Again, if we change it to one, for example, and change, and you know you can see the, the position is setting like this. And I think you get the idea. So let's just put it back to the zero, okay? Next property is this size to content. So whatever that is in this slide is called content, okay? And in this case, the content of this slot is this text in here. So if we set size to content, it will change the scale of our slot, that is this rec green rectangle, to the content that in this case, it is this text, right? The next is this Z order, okay? So for example, if we have two text in here, and I wanna change color of this next uh, second text to something like red, okay? And you can see because our new text is below this first text, new text will draw above our old text, okay? So for clarity, let's just change the name of it, click on it, and I wanna call this text one, and I wanna call this text two, okay? We can change the prior priority of drawing with this Z order. So for example, if we wanna draw this white text above this red text, we can change the Z order to one, for example. And now you can see that it draw our white text above the red text. And that was about Z order. The next property is this content, and you guessed it. You can change the text in here. For example, hello world. Let's just delete that second test text. We don't need it. And with this content, you can change it. And you can see that beside this content in here, there is a bind button in here. If you click on it, you can bind this text to a text variable. So for example, if we go to graph and in here you can see we have some variable, let's just delete them because we don't need any of them. It's all about the last video. So let's just create a text variable and let's call it text and change its type to text and let's just compile and again go back to designer tab in here and when we click on this hello world text in here in, in content category in text we can bind this text to our text okay so whatever we put in this text variable in here for example hello this time or let's just change it i am navid from Unreal engine okay so we did change the text in here and let's just compile and go to designer again and because we bind this to uh, to this text variable whenever we run our game instead of saying uh hello world it says i'm navid from unreal engine and in this blueprint whatever you do with this variable will be in your gui that was all about this content let's just collapse them collapse everything and next is appearances. I know you know all about it, but I want to show the beginner what it is, okay? The color, you can change the color and opacity. Everybody know about it. So we can change it to green, for example, okay? Next, the font. 
and there is a catch to this font you can't set this font from your windows phone for using another phone beside this roboto that is by default is in uh, unreal engine you can open your content drawer in here and dock it and find your font and drag it and put it in your content drawer in one of the folders right so now you can see that this font is in here now that we have it let's just close this content drawer now we can set it and you can see that it show it in here blue yellow font that we have downloaded okay and let's just change the size of it and you can see that new font is added to our game let's just compile to see next is this typeface you know all about it you can make it bold italic or whatever and next one is this letter spacing you can change the letter spacing it's easy right so let's just change it back for change it back you can just click on here and it will change it back the next property is this font material don't use your material on this because the font material needs its own material so when you want to create a material you should create it for font next one this outline and it's all about the outline that it can come around our text for example let's just change the outline in here to 30 for example and you can see no it has outline right and in with this outline you can have your outline material like you have it in photoshop you can have a preset for your outline right so you can use that as well there are some other options in here for example apply out outline to drop shot and you can see when i hover over it it says what it is okay so apply outline to drop shadow it means do you want this outline to have shadow or not okay the next is this outline color so you can change the color of the outline for example okay and you can see when i change it it's nothing happened and i think this is a bug in unreal engine 5 that maybe when you see this video it will be fixed but you can change it in here you can see i can make it red i can make it uh, yellow or whatever color i want i just can't use this color picker at the beginning why i don't know so that's how you can change your outline color and because i want to reset it i just click on this and it will reset it so let's just collapse the font we did talk about it a lot next this a strike brush and what it does is just um a strike a for example a image on this text right so for example let's just go into it and first you should set an image that you want to draw or strike it through the text for example let's just use this and with that let's just compile and you can see it draws something in here in front of our text and we can change the size of it in here the important thing about this strike whenever you change this image you should compile it to work okay next you can change the the color in here course it's not happening i don't know why you want to tile it for example horizontal and let's just compile again and you can see it tile it horizontally okay nothing important so let's just reset this strike brush next is this shadow offset and shadow color first let's just compile for offsetting this shadow color you can't do it by just dragging in here you can see there is not any shadow around uh, behind our text why let's just change this back to default and in shadow color just select it and you can see the alpha is zero at default so you should increase it i put it at one so you can see it clearly and now that i increase the alpha of our color in this shadow color in here you can do it like this okay we can change this offset in here and now you can see the shadow behind our text and it looks cool right so let's just change it back again next is this mean desired width okay so uh, for example let's say you put this text in a horizontal box or whatever that can push this text around okay and with setting this minimum desired width for example to 200 for example nothing can change the width of this less than 200 so you you force the this unreal engine to not resize this less than 200 in width the next transform policy if you click on it if we set it to upper it write it in uppercase or text and if you set it to lower and it make all the character low in lower and if you put it on none it will do it like how you want to do it so for example if i go to content again and in here write hello world like this the edge will be uppercase and all of that is what i want right so let's just collapse content again next the alignment of this text in here so if you put it on middle nothing will change why because this this bounding box or this slide is set to a scale so let's just change that 
change that and with that let's just change this like this so we, we did change the size of the, over a slot and now in this justification we can change we can align it to the left to the middle or to the right but if you, if you check this size to content it will size up content and we can change this justification the next property is this margin and i know you know what it is it will add a margin to our text for example 10 pixel okay and you can see it make a margin around our text let's just put it back reset everything so let's just collapse these appearances and collapse everything next i want to talk about this performance so it has just one option that is called is volatile so is volatile means if this text will change in future or not do you want to do something about it in blueprint or not so if you put this text in this optimization in validation box or retainer box if you put it in these boxes if you check this is volatile you can change it change the text and everything in blueprint but if you, if you didn't set check this is volatile it will be more optimized okay the next property is this wrapping for showing you what this wrapping is i want to go to a slot and change this size to content and with that let's just change the content in here to hello world so it will be bigger right and again go to appearances and i want to put it at left align okay and you can see our text is going out of our slot or our bounding box and with this wrapping, if you auto wrap it, you can see it will go to the next line. Okay, it's wrap it this way. It's automatic. It's maybe it's not working for you. So let's just uncheck this. And with this wrap text that if you increase it, you can see at some point it go to the next line and it wrap it right. If you click on here, you can change the wrapping policy. And if you change this default wrapping to low per character wrapping, and if you change this, you can see that it go to the next line for every character. Let's just again reset it. There are some better things to wrap this. If you just put it, uh, put this slot at a scale to content, everything should work fine. But let's just put it this way. I want to show you something else and collapse this wrapping. The next is this behavior. Okay, so. The first option in this behavior is to text okay so we can add a tip to this for example i want to whenever they hover over this hello world text i want to tell it to show i am navi so let's just compile and run it and you can see whenever i hover over this text it says i am navi so it's just a tooltip right so let's just close our game the next property is this is enabled if you uncheck this it will gray out your text okay it's it's not doing anything much for the text but in the button it is important thing so if you play this now you can see it's it changed the opacity a little bit so it, it is like grayed out okay so the next thing is this visibility so let's say for example in at some point you want in blueprint you you don't want it to show this hello world anymore okay and you can change this by in this visibility to for example collapse and if you run our game you now you can see the hello world is not here and again if you hidden it it again you can see it in your wall and you can and you can access this visibility in blueprint and you can bind it to a boolean variable like i did show you with this content it's easy so let's just make it back to the visible so with that if, if it's enabled and the render opacity is one and if we compile and run our game you can see it's full opacity and if we change this opacity to something like this compile and with that you did change the opacity of the text next i want to talk about this render transform and with that you can change the position of this uh, with blueprint or you can change it right here and you can see when i change this the position of the text is changing and you can change the y value you can change the a scale in x direction in y direction you can change the shear let's just reset all of these so in shear you can do this it's make it italic okay so let's just reset it the next one is this angle and we can change the angle of it and the next one is this pivot point so this pivot point is where this all of this translation and a scale and shear is happening from okay so it's like an anchor point for example let's just bring this back to zero and change the pivot point to zero and zero and the zero and zero is this top left corner and now if i change the angle point you can see that it rotates around this anchor point that we set with this pivot point 
So, and for a scale, if I set this pivot point to zero and zero, again, if I change the scale, you can see it scale from the pivot point, not in all direction, okay? So let's just reset everything. So the next thing that I wanna show you is this clipping option in here. So at default, it says inherit. So it inherit whatever it's, whatever that is parent of this text, but we can change it in here. For example, if you put it at clip to bounce, you can see it clip it at the bone, at this slot bounce, bounding box and you can see it it's just showing hello war <laughs> so if you compile and run it and you can see it's just showing hello war and that was all that was all with this clipping the next one is this navigation this navigation won't do much for this for the text but it's important for buttons so for example if this text is focused or uh, with with keyboard you navigate to that text and hit left on your keyboard it will escape and unfocus this text okay and if you put it at a stop whenever they hit left on their keyboard it won't change the focus from this text to another text for example the next one is wrap it's for a grid bar, grid panel and uniform grid panel it, it's not working for us for now in the next video i will talk about buttons and you can see in that case all of this escape stop wrap and explicit and custom and custom boundary it's important for you so let's just not talk about it a lot because it's not doing much for this text it's not important for all text the next is this localization okay so for example you in english language you want to write your character from left to right but in other languages you want to write your text from right to left okay so with that you can do it so so that was it for text i did show you every detail of this text the next one is all about button button is more important than, than text so stay tuned please if you want to help me hit that like button it's very much important to me thank you very much for watching bye